Ahoy there, mateys! Welcome to another episode of The Tavern, a Sea of Thieves podcast. My name is Matt, also known as The Real Spoons from Sea of Thieves HQ, and today we're going to be discussing new ship combat in Sea of Thieves, the Insider Program, and Tall Tales. So most of you guys probably already know, but in case you don't, Rare recently released a teaser trailer for their long-awaited mega update, which they're dubbing the Sea of Thieves Anniversary Update. Now this update is releasing on April 30th, so it's a little bit over a month away, and guys, it is jam-packed with amazing features that are going to change the fabric of Sea of Thieves as we know it today. So some of these new features include fishing, cooking, harpoons, a new in-depth quest system called Tall Tales, uh, the arena, two new trading companies, new ways to damage ships, and so much more. But there are actually only two things that I want to focus on in this episode today. So first off, I want to discuss these new ship combat mechanics that are coming to the game. So ship combat in Sea of Thieves as we know it today will be a thing of the past once this update comes out. We saw in the teaser trailer that you're actually going to be able to shoot down the mass of other ships using cannonballs, and this would presumably, 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 apparently I can't talk, slow down the ship that you're shooting at. Um, so, you know, wave goodbye to those hour-long ship chases across the map, you know. Uh, it's, it's just, it's going to be a thing of the past. Uh, you know, I, I'm sure it'll actually happen, you know, very rarely, but it won't be something that you're going to encounter, you know, every other play session, especially with the addition of harpoons to the game. So imagine that you've been chasing down a galleon that's, you know, recently looted a skeleton fort, but they're catching the wind and you're just trying to basically keep pace with it. Um, and now imagine being able to shoot down the mass of their ship and then attaching a harpoon to their ship to get it closer. So ship combat just became less about catching the wind and sailing off and more about actually maneuvering your ship to avoid cannonballs to the mast and harpoon shots to the hull. So this will completely change the fabric of Sea of Thieves, guys. Currently, like I said, you know, you're so focused on just trying to catch the wind when you're trying to, you know, get away from someone. But with these new mechanics, the, the new mass destruction and the harpoons, you're also going to have to worry about, yo, should I maneuver around this island? Should I, I, I don't want to just go straight because that's giving them such an easy target, even if I already am ahead of them. You know, there's going to be a lot of different factors that are coming into this. Uh, and it's just really interesting and really intriguing that this, um, you know, that's the route that, that Rare is taking. And it's com going to completely change the fabric of Sea of Thieves ship combat as we know it. I know I've said that like three times already, but uh, it, it really is. It's really, it's really impressive, and it's um, definitely a, a major change to the core of the game. So not to mention, this will also demand skills from the attacking ship. So we now have to train ourselves to aim for the mass of a ship, which honestly won't be the easiest thing to hit, uh, especially you know depending on how far you are away from the ship that you're attacking. Um, and we'll also need to become familiar with how the harpoon even works. You know, what's the reload time? What's the range for it? Does the size of our ship matter for when we reel the harpoon in? You know, there's a lot of questions that will be answered in due time. Uh, and this is only focusing on, you know, player versus player situations. You know, what if a skeleton ship were equipped with harpoons and programmed to aim for our mass when visible? You know, uh, you can you can just kind of start to see how major of a change the harpoon and mass destruction are to the core of the game. And I'd really love to know your thoughts on it. You know, what do you think? Do you think mass destruction was is the right way to go for ship combat? Um, do you think it's going to make things too complicated? Do you think it's um, just going to be too frustrating for solo players? Um, so just kind of let me know. You know, do you think the harpoons are good? Do you think you know? Um, do you do you want to see specific things with harpoons? Do you want to be able to jump? I, I don't even know if this is possible, but maybe you know, maybe you could jump on top of the rope for the harpoon and run across and go on the other ship like that would be really cool and that would be something that you would kind of see in pirates of the caribbean or something like that you know so what do you guys think about this kind of new ship combat meta that's that's coming our way and uh do you foresee it being a positive thing a negative thing you know just let me know i, I really love to hear your feedback you can use the hashtag the tavern podcast on twitter or feel free to send a voice message in using anchor now next up I want to talk about Tall Tales. This is something that I really have seen the potential of and I'm sure a lot of us have for Sea of Thieves. There's so much lore, you know, on these islands uh, and just kind of in the dialogue when you're talking with NPCs and there's just so much potential in the actual world but it didn't seem like the game was actually, you know, uh, taking advantage of that. So 
Tall Tales is where it actually will take advantage of it. So as we saw in the trailer, it was just a you know maybe like three or four brief clips. Um, there's going to be these stories in the game, and the first one that's coming out is I believe called like Golden Shore. Uh, but there'll be different tall tales that are released. So Golden Shore will, I guess, have multiple chapters within it. Um, but it it looks like it's exactly what you would expect from like a pirate adventure game, like something that uh, you know is kind of Indiana Jones esque, where like dungeon doors are closing behind you. You know, you need to use your spyglass to look at constellations in the sky and figure out like the next clue. Um, and just, uh, you know, swinging booby traps and things like that, uh, just in, in the world itself. And we kind of saw that early on with one of the really early Sea of Thieves E3 trailers. There were actually like this spiky log booby trap that like one of the characters was running away from. And we also saw that again in this anniversary update. So it finally looks like sort of like Rare is, is, um, finally completing or at least starting, uh, what they've always wanted with Sea of Thieves because since they showed it back in that early E3 trailer You know that they wanted to do that. They just didn't have uh, I guess uh, the technical um, Foundation yet for it So now they actually do and it's great that they're finally pushing that out and it is really exciting like I hope the replayability with these things is um, Pretty solid, you know, like I hope like you're earning stuff if you do it over and over again um, but we'll see and it just really looks like this is exactly what people wanted from Sea of Thieves as far as like a lore standpoint because there's so much on these islands and all you're doing is going and either killing skeletons or delivering cargo or um, you know digging up chests but you're not really spending time on these islands figuring out you know uh, what exactly does this cave painting mean you know like like what is the lore here like people um, you know they, they would see cave paintings of mermaids and they're like oh I wonder if mermaids are going to come to the game but it's like the game never kind of gave you uh, any background on that kind of stuff. And this is this is a great opportunity for Rare and Sea of Thieves to finally do that through Tall Tales. And I'm really, really excited for this. So I want to hear your feedback on this as well. Um, you know, I've seen nothing but positive feedback about it, but I'm curious to know what you guys think. Uh, because it, it just, just this just kind of completes what Sea of Thieves should be is that it should be this game with this really interesting pirate adventure lore and you should feel like you're going out on these journeys and solving clues to get to the next step uh, and it's just I'm just really really excited for this and I can't wait to see what they do with this even after Golden Shore is done um, you know what what other tall tales are, are they going to come out with and what is the frequency of those tall tales you know will it come out you know, once a month, will it come out maybe once every three months, something like that. Uh, I'm really curious to see what Rare has to say about it. Now, finally, I just want to talk about the Insider Program. And since our last episode, the Insider Program has actually become opt-in. So anyone is actually able to get into this program. And there's been a lot of controversy kind of like surrounding that um, with the pure fact that people are worried that you know others are gonna leak information and things will get spoiled but now that this anniversary update has kind of come around um, you know most of us already know what's gonna be you know part of it obviously if you've seen the update and it's there's not really a, a like a lot left to spoil I guess you could say um, but I just want to talk about the insider program because I honestly I understand why rare wanted to actually open this up to everybody before this anniversary update is out because there's a lot of features coming in and they want as many testers as possible you know they they, they want to make sure that this update is is perfectly fine on day one um, with as many testers beforehand as they can get so I completely understand that and they're willing to take the risk of people leaking information especially since you know the anniversary update came out so soon to the opt-in for insider program that or I, I'm sorry the anniversary update trailer came out so soon compared to uh, you know when the insider program became opt-in so they were they were willing to risk it um, between that like short time frame of people leaking stuff because they were gonna announce it soon anyway um, but my my statement on the insider program is I am not sure why there will still be an NDA after this anniversary update comes out because this is probably the biggest update the game is going to get so this is the chance for people to spoil the most things i guess you could say i guess at not at this point because of the trailer um but this is the this was the chance you know if people could could spoil the most things so going forward i honestly think that like since it's opt-in like they should just lift the nda and it should become something like what um 
what Overwatch has with the PTR, which is the public test realm, which is basically this public realm, uh, this public version of the game that has a bunch of new developer um, enabled features and things like that. So it just, it just has early content that people can test before it's actually pushed to the live server, but it's public. People can stream it if they want to. You know, everyone knows about it. It's just... Uh, it just makes sense to me that Rare would do something like this after this anniversary update is out because I'm honestly not sure how big of updates they're going to be coming out with after this one because this is by far the biggest update they've done. And I'm just really curious to see if they're going to lift the NDA uh, you know, after April 30th and just let everyone talk about everything that's going on there. They can get as much feedback as possible by people posting it on Twitter and Reddit and anywhere. Um, I'm just really curious to see if if they'll do that um, because then that'll obviously eliminate the the chance of there actually being leaks because everything is going to be public anyway so i'm really curious to know what you guys think about that as well uh, let me know what you think about tall tales let me know what you think about the new ship combat meta that's coming and let me know what you think about the insider program um, and and if you think the nda should be lifted after the anniversary update so thank you guys so much for listening i really do appreciate it uh, I've had amazing feedback with the first episode, and I, or I guess episode zero, and this technically would be the first episode. So I, I'm really just happy that you guys are enjoying it, and I'm, I'm hopefully providing enough entertainment for everybody um, through these podcasts. And enough, uh, you know, I hope I get enough engagement um, with you guys. You know, maybe chipping in with some of your feedback there. So thank you guys so much for listening. I hope you have a great rest of your day and uh, happy sailing.